As competition becomes increasingly tenacious, understanding the key distinctions between those who thrive and those who drift away becomes essential. Let me share six critical elements of the success mindset for manufacturers. First, management must respect and demonstrate respect for all constituencies and earn returned respect. That means employees, customers, suppliers, investors, and the community at large. The community at large includes competitors, physical neighbors, and future generations of all five constituencies. A second key element is that the mission and vision must matter. It's hard to come to work every day to stand in a machine and make stampings or plastic widgets or printed circuit boards. But to come to work to figure out how to identify cancer immediately to save lives or to end workplace injuries, those are things that excite people. Your mission may not be that world altering, but it needs to matter to others. Another characteristic of those that thrive is that they have one and only one top priority. That doesn't mean that they don't have multiple priorities or that they work on things sequentially. It means that priorities are crystal clear and consistent to everyone every single day. Employees are constantly making decisions. They can't make good ones without understanding priorities. Fourth, organizations that thrive learn. Many of us are part of organizations that think we learn, but we make the same mistake over and over again. Clearly, we don't learn. Plan, do, check, adjust is one model for learning, but there are others. Regardless of your specific learning system, it must be formalized, internalized, with information captured and reused. Manufacturers with a success mindset don't waste time sitting around trying to remember when a problem occurred and what we did about it. They know. They take reoccurrence as an opportunity to improve knowledge and move closer to eliminating the problem forever. Next, successful organizations have an unwavering commitment to credo. Johnson & Johnson is the obvious example. That credo, first written in 1943 by its then chairman, remains the organization's guiding principle today. The business has changed extensively in the subsequent 70 years, but its credo has not. Clarity and consistency. The sixth element of the manufacturing success mindset that I want you to consider is commitment to providing value for all five constituencies for decades to come. This is not stagnant, it is consistent. The status of each of the six elements can range from absent to exemplar for any company, but not for long. Absent in too many for any real period of time will soon describe the company. Mindset can evolve. I encourage you to honestly evaluate where your organization resides in each of the six success mindset categories. If your organization falls short in any, you can do something about it. In fact, you must. You are starting now, either to thrive or to drift away. Make an overt decision about which path you will take. As always, not to decide is to decide.